Hello, everyone. I'm Gina. Having a dog is getting more and more popular in China. Well, first of all, they're very adorable, and they can make you feel less lonely. Besides, according to the studies, dogs are actually good for your health, both physically and psychologically. Guess what is the most popular dog in China? It's poodles. It has a very elegant Chinese name, Gui Bin Quan. Gui Bin means Honored guest, Quan means dog. They're very smart, and their size is suitable for the size of houses in China. Since we're talking about dogs, let me share some Chinese breeds today. Number one, Pekingese, Beijing Quan. Obviously, its name refers to the city Beijing, where the Forbidden City is. The breeds was favored by royal families as both a lap dog and a companion dog. Around the eighteen sixties, the British and French troops took five of them back to Europe after the war. One of them was presented to Queen Victoria. Number two, Xi Shi Quan. Although small in size, they're famous for their largely playful personality. So they are a very popular family raised toy dog breed. Number three, Sha Pi Quan, Sha Pei. It has been breeding in China for over two thousand years. They were first bred as fighting dogs because their excessively wrinkled skins makes them less likely to get hurt during the fight. And they are also very loyal guarding dogs. Number four, Zhang Ao, Tibetan Mastiff. It is one of the biggest breeds in the world. They have a thick, long coat because of the climate in Tibet. They're extremely loyal. That's why they can be very aggressive to strangers. After a few cases of them attacking people, they are now forbidden to raise in a lot of cities in China. So those are the Chinese dog breeds I want to share with you today. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you next time. Bye.